Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. Today we're just doing a night skin routine. I've done a few of this because I noticed that I do change my skincare kind of like every few weeks, I want to say. And I just want to go ahead and start like improving my skin a lot more. Let's go ahead and get started on our skincare. We do have a few new products that are welcoming in to our skin routine. With that being said, we finally got our hands on this sucker right over here. Boom, shakalaka. Now we're ready to wash our face. All right, now let's get set up and ready, hair up, long sleeves put away. We're gonna go ahead and get started by one, washing our hands. I'm using this baby right over here from Bath & Body Works. Honestly, I love the smell. I love that it comes in a foam. And yes, believe it or not, I am going to wash my face with this. I do have a little bit of tinted moisturizer, and this is why I'm doing it. Honestly, I really do like it. I feel that it does just de-cleanse everything, especially because I kind of work in a dusty area, and this just makes me feel better. Next, we're going to go with the CeraVe SA. I am currently breaking out because I am very hormonal. I am on my glory days. Still use this product, still love this product, except that I kind of just use it like three times a week. A little bit less now, just because I don't really have a lot of tiny little bumps in my skin anymore, which I am freaking grateful for. I am using the silicone brush because honestly it is the best one. It is easy to clean. Like it's basically doesn't get a lot of bacteria. Next we're going to go ahead and get some of the Urban Skin RX. It's my holy grail. I honestly really do love it. This is what I take my time with. I do the whole three minutes. I massage it. I lather it up. Once I'm done, we're going to go ahead and wash our face, but we're also going to go ahead and dry because we're going to go use the red mask, the bloody mask. There's many different names, but the point is this is the exfoliating, this is the max to just remove the scars and exfoliate your face. You know, make it look good. Wounds. So this thing is going to sting like a mother flipping, but honestly, it has helped me a lot with just clearing out my dark skin pigmentations that I have due to acne and I do go a little bit not a lot trust me a little bit goes a long way and my main focus is always under my chin oh bless my heart this thing is burning burn it it literally burns so much especially if you have an open wound it's just like mm, 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 mm. so here I am fanning me out because it stings so freaking badly and this is only one side now you don't want this mask to be super mother flipping red you just want it to be a slight pink, like very lightly. A little bit goes a long way with this exfoliant. Um, and again, you don't want to burn your skin. So I actually didn't even use it for 10 minutes. I actually started using it for only 5 minutes. Because this is actually really potent, like very freaking potent. And for those who are struggling for acne, you don't want to use something really, really strong on your skin. Because your skin kind of has to get used to its original boundaries of how it was before. Now we're going to go ahead and just let this set wash our hands again because we don't want this on our hands and then we're gonna go ahead and wash our face literally my skincare takes about probably about seven minutes at night because I am very detailed and I really want to go ahead and get rid of all this acne marks that I currently have and there we go anyways let's go ahead and start in with moisturizing our face this has not changed and I literally recommend this every time I hit my videos up you guys get this hyaluronic acid all right now, now once we have this going on, we're gonna go ahead and let this settle in. So once we have that settle in, we're gonna go ahead and grab this baby right over here. You guys, yes, the cheaper alternative is the ordinary ones, but I really do like this one because I do feel that it stings a lot less. And again, the ordinary works amazing. Once this has settled down, we're gonna go ahead and use this bad boy right over here. Honestly, I have seen a few of a difference, especially on lighting up this area. And this is a little bit more on the tackier side. So same thing, just kind of press it inwards. Look at this. Then we're going to go ahead and use Pepper, Pepper, Pepper Rain from Truly, which I honestly really do like this one. It's not that strong. It's really nice. It's, it's just like a mask under. Just a little bit. Press it in. Something that I do like to focus at nighttime the most is definitely hydration. Okay. Okay, okay, <laughs> and honestly, this is actually pretty freaking good. I love it so much. It's so refreshing. Honestly, I have I have no other ways to say it than it's just such a refreshing night cream. 
But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any comments down below, let me know. And you look at this. We have some nice glowing skin. And again, I was like really bad on my skin recently because I kept on picking it. I took off the nails and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna be okay. I posted a picture on Instagram that my skin was doing amazing and it was and then it just backfired on me because I started picking my skin and then I started getting my hormonal acne it's just, it's just everything backfired you guys honestly it's a day to day skin struggles I love you guys we're doing amazing and I hope you guys are doing amazing too stay warm peace